easier to network Facebook in between all the other social media sites than it is for YouTube. You know, YouTube, you can take a, um, a um, the YouTube link and put it on Facebook, yeah. put it on Instagram, or put it on Twitter, yeah, that's what I but do. they're not linked. It's a, it's a little different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got to click and then go into that, yeah. Yeah, they got to click and, and yes. go into that, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like YouTube is like, people actually go there, they can stumble upon your stuff. Every site has its own particular demographic of a fan base of which website they use. So well, see, uh, as it, a it, brand, you got to just, whether you like it or might not like this or that, you still want to feed those social media feeds. Mm -hmm. Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook. YouTube, it seems like it's, it's um, like, everything that you like, you know, because even on YouTube, you see all of those different buttons that you can share on all those different sites, mm -hmm. blogger, this, that. Mm -hmm. It's good because when you actually get in Google, that helps rank that shit as the pop up over anybody that might yeah. have mm -hmm. that name, and yep. that your shit is coming up at the top. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like like SEO marketing and different things that come along with. Just sharing it on all of these different sites, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I got mm -hmm. But like, basically, I feel what you're saying, but definitely like, that's what we do as a company, Megastore, anyways. We, we help with different aspects of the videography or marketing and mm -hmm. different media, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, sure. like, basically, you know, I, I know what you're saying though, because like, as far as views, it feel like when you do, you go live on Facebook, you be having mad views versus mm -hmm. like YouTube. You gotta really promote it, like yeah. Hard, you gotta you, know you gotta go a little bit yeah. more harder. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, like on our on our page, we got like almost eight hundred people. Yeah. So at the end of the day, those eight hundred people, when we go live, they get a message saying, "Website Entertainment Network is now live. Tune in." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might not get a whole all the eight hundred people to click, but at the end of the day, you know, we might get a a hundred out of that eight. Besides us, when we share and link around and this, that, and the third. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Nowadays, you got to really share it, put it in people's face. But, 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 but what? I do but the what? text blast, I do the email blast, mm -hmm. I do all of that group Facebook shit, mm -hmm. Instagram, same well, shit. Well, see, what I'm about all to do, that. Actually, Even on YouTube, it's like the engagement. Mm -hmm. Like, if you leaving comments on other people's shit or leaving your links and doing different shit, then your shit is people going to start clicking on that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Just to see who is that, who said that, different shit. So it's like, well, like you say, whatever site you want, you definitely want to, but you still want to basically, you know, build everything, you know what I'm saying? Because you're, you're a brand, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You don't want to limit it, especially these things that don't really cause, you feel me? So yeah. you got to Well, see, at this that. point in time, I'm in the process of putting an uh, ad campaign together right now. Yeah, that's a You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, I got to get it a little bit more automated. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't, it gets tired if we can share the same link over and over again. Plus, at the end of the day, when you're sharing, oh, link, yeah, I want to get that. They too. start like, uh, man, I, need, I need everything that got to do with that because it's like, like you say, it's, it's getting real. And what they're doing, they're really trying to limit on how much you can actually share. Oh, with, yeah, then they, they like, oh, you're spamming. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, they, what it is, is they trying to get you to pay for them for those, uh, those commercial links. That's what yeah. it is. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. They're telling me they can make me reach. 3,000 people, all right, I'm gonna put some bread and see how many people I can get coming to my to my little page, whatever like that. Then they also got a other, another um, um, application that you can use that you can link your Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram where it'll periodically put posts up for you. Oh, yeah, All you gotta yeah. do is update the post and the posts will go up yeah. automatically on its own. Yeah. I'm, I'm on some shit like I'm shoot. I probably only put one post a day, and I should go up a thousand times in that one day. Cause at the end of the day, it's a different amount of people that's hitting Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at different times a day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And your stuff can definitely get lost in the feed. You know what I'm saying? That's the other thing about it too. You know? But here, let me go run in the bathroom real yeah, quick, and then um, come up here. Bye. Yeah, um, so, what are they? we got the Black Rolling Stones, that's the label, you know, we independent. Okay. Black Rolling Stones. Then we got the 8 Dog BRS, so that's like, you know, the music page and everything. It was, okay. Everything usually intertwined. Mm -hmm. Then we got the Megastar brand, and we got the Shop Megastar brand. And shout out to my son, he got Legacy underscore BRS, you feel me? You know, so we here. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, like, when did you get started with everything? 
basically, uh, okay. Well, first, say like when you guys started with hip hop, because you do a lot of things. Yeah, hip hop. So. I, since I was like 11, I wrote my first rap. At 16, I knew I, I was just like, yo, this is what I want to do. You feel me? Like, so it was like a consistent thing. Like, it wasn't no, like, I want to do this, I want to do that. It was always the same, the same okay. thing on the same mission, no matter what happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, was it somebody? Destined. You know what I'm saying? Unstoppable. You feel me? Some people use everything as an excuse not to actually do this and that. But you, that's true. When you really destined, it's like you use that as motivation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to use that as like, yo, I'm stepping over that. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Yeah. I feel that. That's a few or something. Definitely. Was it somebody that inspired you at all to pursue it? You mean like... It's like, like family artists? members or anything like that outside? Or somebody you looked up looked to up as to an artist yeah. that she was like... Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot friends. of artists. Oh yeah. A lot of artists that I, I love and I look up to. Like, you know, Big Pond, Big Al. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z. Nas, you know. A lot of people don't say Big Pond all the time. Yeah, Big Pond You know what I mean? Definitely. Big out, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Those is, they, it's like, the albums is just like, you know, definitely versatile, different topics, you know what I'm saying? Just ridiculous, you feel me? Like, yeah. I really, their projects is really up there, like, you know what I'm saying? That, those are joints that, they, you don't really know hip hop if you don't know about that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Um, and then you also have the clothing. Yeah. Mega so Star brand, you see, we got the clothing line, we got the, Album right here, Megastar, you know what I'm saying? That's on iTunes. We got the hoodies, hats, got the stars, you see that I got right here, mm -hmm. straight out of Megastar, you know what I mean? That came from the straight out of Harlem or straight out of Compton joint, you know what I'm saying? It was it was crazy. So you when know? did you get started with that? Um basically I always been like, you know, pushing my C D, like I'm really known for that. I'm a vendor like on one twenty fifth, a lot of people know me and everything, they, you know, pushing doing my own parties open mics, everything, you know, all over the city, always rocking the brand, you know what I'm saying? Like, got a lot of people rocking the brand, you wouldn't believe it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm out there hustling with the Africans, everything, you feel me? <laughs> For real, like, getting it, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Promoting my own brand and promoting the consciousness, mm -hmm. like Black Power Tees, mm -hmm. you know, Black, Black is Beautiful Tees, you know what I'm saying? Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, Kaepernick, different, different hot joint pieces, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, and people love it, you know what I'm saying? And I feel good about it because it's like, it's a message, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can, I do certain things that I know people like that's trendy, but overall, everything got a message to it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Or a spirituality aspect of it. Mm -hmm. It's just like my music, you know what I'm saying? It's not just your ordinary rap or trap rap or whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, much of it's so cool, it's like, you got meaning, it's consciousness, everything. It's dug out and everything. They got different aspects, different elements. You feel me? That was actually going to be my um my question to you. Like, uh, you know, what is, you know, where do you put yourself as, or like, what type of music do you make? You know, like, you know, because I, I I was listening to uh, one of your songs and I seen that it, had a, it has like a, a conscience, you know, backdrop to it. So I was like, wanted to know like. What is it? Are you, are you trying? Do you have some type of particular message that you're trying to um, get across with your music, or yeah, of course, you like, know? Definitely, like, definitely, I do. Like, you know, I got so many different music that's just like, like I said, that for every situation, mm -hmm. partying, having a good time, mm -hmm. whatever you want to do, you dig what I'm saying? Like, or whatever I can relate to that I want. I, I've been through that you could relate to, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For me, it could be certain situations like a song about my mom, you know what I'm saying? Different things, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I got songs with my son, mm -hmm. when it was called, his name is Legacy, the name of that song is Legacy. So it's like passing the torch, you know, branding yourself mm -hmm. and actually seeing yourself as what you want to be, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, definitely. And all, like, basically, like, you know, some law of attraction, first mm -hmm. off, you know what I'm saying? Definitely black business, you know what I'm saying? Supporting each other out here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and basically, you know, um, just to know yourself, to know the greatness in yourself, mm -hmm. the God in yourself, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, Definitely. And basically, you know, strive for greatness, you know what I'm saying? And um, 
that's pretty much the message in, in my in my music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, um, so I mean, I, I personally, I've seen you know you on the scene for uh, for uh, for the past couple of years. You know what I'm saying? I've been seeing your megastar brand, you know, popping up on my U stream. Yeah, you know I mean, my, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've been seeing it, so you know what I'm saying. At the end, I'm sorry about that. You know, I, when she was like, "Oh, I got eight thugs," I was like, "Oh, all right." I know who that is. I, I that's like, what's up, yo. I mean, what's up? That made me feel good, yo. Yeah, I was I mean, like, yeah. Good. I said when you had, when you spoke to me earlier this week, I was like, he's like, you heard about me? So I'm like, yeah, I heard you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I heard you yeah. music before. Word. Yeah. Word. So I was like, all right, cool. But um, you know, like, you, how can I? All right. So you started. You actually started rapping when? At what age? Sixteen. At sixteen. So at sixteen. You basically was like, "This is what I'm doing right here." You really started taking it seriously. At as far as writing, yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as writing, as mm -hmm. far as in that element of being the top spitter, let's say in high school, whatever. Mm -hmm. That if anybody's rapping, they're gonna bring them to me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like just known for that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like besides other different things that made me popular, that was definitely. I think that people knew that I did, mm -hmm. no matter where I was at. If mm -hmm. I was locked up, if I was here, if I was there. Mm -hmm. It's like even people, some people, I could just not even be rapping because mm -hmm. I learned that that brings a certain energy to certain places. So I, I learned, you know, before when I was young, it's like, then it's like people be like, really like, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it could bring good shit and it could bring other shit too. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm definitely, saying? definitely. Like, so There's like, always two sides yeah, to everything. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. basically, sometimes I just, I learned to be like, you know, just play it like regular, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And somehow, Somehow, some way, that shit gonna come up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I can't deny who I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And what you're involved in. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. just the way it's like they, they know it's something about me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, and then like even like I I'm on 125th. Shout out to DMX. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be coming home. He came through, show love and everything. You dig know what I'm saying? Um, and that was just some spontaneous. I got the clip on YouTube. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. You know where it was just like it was part one, part two, and part three. Make sure I see. The whole thing, and that was just like another thing that I, a spontaneous thing that happened. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? There's a lot of people listening to labels, listening to A&Rs, listening to these people, mm -hmm. and they, you know, trying to be so perfect or do certain things in different ways. Mm -hmm. But like, you know what I'm saying? I, I put my stuff out there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's how I I believe in what I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, whether it's mastered or not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever, whatever people, all these expectations and this, yo. They they so far back, you know what I'm saying? Trying to spend all of this money, nah. I'm, the object is to make money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta produce, you gotta do different things, build your fan base. My fan base is up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, but some people it's like they waiting for everything to be so perfect mm -hmm. to make that move. Yeah, yeah. That's stagnation. Yeah, that's. They don't even mm -hmm. realize Just that realize they that, own yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. stagnation yeah. to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. They rather just actually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just trying to be in a perfect yeah, reality. Yeah, it's just nah, never this gonna is be what perfect. It is. This is what I look yeah, like. This is never, what it's yeah, it'll never be perfect. You feel me? It'll never be perfect. Right. As long as you're waiting for it to be perfect, you'll never it. get it. And, and you'll never and, get it. And the crazy part is some of these is it could be dudes that claim they thorough and this. That's not though. That's some like prima donna shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? That's okay. some like skate shit, some reality TV show scripted shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. We on some real shit. We want y'all to feel the realness, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't that much realness out there, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why not give it to you, like, give you that give raw. Give you that raw, yeah. For mm -hmm. real, that's what Black Wall Stones is here for, you feel me? So you don't have no women on your team? Yeah, we always got a lot of, we got a very I don't never see him. You don't see him? Nah. How you don't see no females on the team? Because I haven't seen them. When In you? the videos that you do, like the interviews and stuff, I haven't seen a woman do anything with you. What? Which ones? Oh, All the ones my. that you... Sent me or that I've been tagging or whatever. I haven't seen a woman in them. Yeah, she's on her lit, her women's list. I got thing so many. There. Every every video got females in it. When you been, I got in, brand ambassadors that's promoting the brand, okay, modeling so, the brand. Okay, that's different the videos, instead of okay. like. Um, somebody, some artists that I work with on the songs. No, and I didn't say yeah. that. I said, when are you going to work with women as far as like when you interview artists, do you have any women that yeah. you work with? Yeah, actually, I, I just did one with this um, Frankie, Frankie Mae. Not was, you was, interviewing a woman artist, but a, a woman working with you as you cool. interview artists. Oh, um, I had that before, but right now I don't have that. 
Mm. But if any females just want to get down with the Megastar team, you know, they could definitely hit, hit me up on the social media, you know what I mean? We could we can make an appointment. Because you be real through. chill. Oh my God. Turn your thing down. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I just, okay. I just figured out what was, was wrong. Was wrong. Yeah. Did I, I kick it out? Nah, I, I, I was, I, I, um... Remember I told you on um Thursday I had the engineer come oh, yeah, and I was messing up. with it. Oh no, nah, that was actually that was actually my fault. That was actually my fault. That's so, why I was like, wait, well, let me just get over here. So, so you know. like you be really chill on in your interviews. Yeah. Too chill. You think so? Boring too. Nah. <laughs> yes. Yo, you saw you saw my last interview at um, Smash Radio? Boring too. Nah, that was turned up. You saw the freestyle? Y'all weren't that turned up. The freestyle was crazy. Okay. Put that on. Can you? Yo, I guarantee you, they're gonna be like, yo, he went here. He, he went in. That was it. I'm telling you. I mean, that's a freestyle, but it's different from an interview. Y'all just be like, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Too For chill. Real? Yes. So you want me to do it? Like, yo. Me? I don't know. See what's right. I, I See? don't know. I don't know. It's just too chill for me. But I'm, I, everything that I'm saying is, is You're real, hyper though. now than you were during the interview. You just be like. You got me hype. <laughs> as I should. I'm, that's that's my job. Exactly. That's exactly. why you need a woman. Exactly. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Yo, turn your mic down. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go through this one. Yo, you gotta turn it down, boy. It yeah. loud. It okay, no, it's not that loud. I'm it's just loud. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying, you just yeah. got to. What's but I go for it. She does bring a, another element to the show. Yeah. You know, if oh, I was by myself, I would be boring. Oh, for I, real? Yeah, I'm boring. I just feel like you just have these chill vibes. Like, and there's nothing wrong with yeah, that. Yeah. No doubt. But it worked. I mean, I everybody. I mean, I everybody. Never, I never heard me. that before. Everybody has that their own me. vibes. Well, though. that's just what I got from you. Everybody has their own vibes. Well, how many? How many? Just because you crazy, that don't mean everybody else got to be crazy. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not so saying that. So you gotta watch that. a couple more. All right, fine. Let me go. Sometimes I'll be turned up. I'll be. All right. Well, maybe it's just that. Look, you don't gotta get turned for her. No, I'm not saying that. That's just what I gathered from watching the two interviews that I watched. And I was like, huh, okay. I smashed radio. I was, I was on my lab. I was on my. I was hyped when the freestyle came on, like, and I was. I thought I was in my element. I was definitely in my element, though. So wait, let me ask you this question. You said Smash Radio or, or Smash Studios? Smash Radio. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Smash what? Radio FM, Brooklyn. They're from Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know of that? No, I've never heard of them. Oh. So, so do you do freestyles often? Yeah, like I'm, I'm basically the freestyle king, you know what I'm saying? That's Are what you? I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, Top she is so Off the top. <laughs> okay. Of, of Harlem or just? Everywhere. <laughs> See? Everywhere in the planet. Even the aliens know. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. That's a fact. <laughs> One thing that I, the reason why I definitely want to do up here because I think that as a like, as an artist when you like promote yourself and yeah. the way you be hustling is dope. Like I Thank love you. the promotion that you do. I really like how you put yourself out there and everything like that. So, I, because I think a lot of artists, which is why it's important that you're up here, a lot of artists can take note from you for real. The way you promote yourself on social media, all the social media and all of that, like they Thank definitely, you could like have a class. Cause yeah, they definitely I feel, I feel like I really, really do like that's what the whole brand ambassador is basically like. I be actually putting people on and how to promote and to sell and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes it take a little while for things to kick in. You know, mm -hmm. some person gotta have patience. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. To be able to learn to do things the right way and patience you know, and it's like, Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like after you, it's the consistency that you just get in. You just do it. You know. Mm -hmm. You know. It's like it's natural after a while. Like, but. Definitely, it's like, especially for people who got a lot of followers, if they want to join the team and, and sell merchandise, that's a perfect thing for them. Like, they are just be making money crazy, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, and, um, like, it's just, like I said, you got the Black Power song, got the Black Power shirts, you know, we got different things, like, you feel me? Like, everything is cold, like, meshed in. Coincide, yeah. yeah coincide, mm -hmm. basically, like, so it's like, that's, it's like certain people, 
get attracted to the brand on 125th just off of like the Black Power shirt itself. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they see us like Black Bone Stone, what's that? Yeah, that's my lid. Then, then I get into that, oh, for mm -hmm. real? Yeah. Blah, blah. yeah, check that yeah. out on YouTube. Da, yeah. da, 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 you mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. like, so, or it could be somebody hit a song, then they see the hat, or da, 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 you feel mm -hmm. me? So that's why I'm always usually rocking my, my joint, you feel me? Like, whatever the case may mm -hmm. be, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I feel you, because I'm always wearing my hat. Yeah. I got my hat with my logo on it, man. Yeah. Your Shoot, scarf I, that your wife made? Yeah, my scarf, man, and the hat that she made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's you know what's yeah, funny? Good, right? Yeah, I'm sure, man. Always I always catch the white people looking at me. I think they be scared sometimes seeing that shit on my hat. Like, huh? <laughs> Wait, that'll be on the dial. Ain't be like Illuminati? <laughs> nah, I ain't <laughs> So we'll see it now. Mm. You know Third what I'm saying? Eye. Yeah, so we'll see it now. That's everything where we came from. Yeah, exactly. You know that's, that's just the history we they stole. You know that's all. Stole it and took it and King did. Sasha. Yeah, took it and did some other shit with it. That's all. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely understand exactly. that. I'm always yeah. promoting myself. You what do you feel saying? like is your favorite platform? Um, platform as far as. Social media wise, like you promote ASO. What's your favorite platform? I would just say like, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. They all your favorite? You want Yeah, because it's like, I, I'm, on, <laughs> I'm on all of them, like, heavy. But which one do you really feel like you connect with more? Or which one do you feel like gets the most responses from your brand? It's different times. Back in the days, it was Facebook. Everything had its time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Twitter had its time. These dudes. You know, wouldn't be doing what they're doing if it wasn't for him, like, you know what I mean? Paving the way with certain type of ways. Like, I was telling you how people saying, it gotta be like this. The beat gotta be this. It gotta take hours and days to do this and that. When he created, like, niggas was making beats off Fruity Loops, boom, 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 30 minutes, boom, hit, it's over. Oh, you gotta have a crystal clear video on this and that. Chief Keith with his homies wilding, you know what I'm saying? Just da da da, -da you know what I'm saying? Viral, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it changed, me. Like, mm -hmm. I don't wanna hear nobody tell me no rules, bitch. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm paving my way, I'm doing what I, I do. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, what you I talking about. Yeah, Very, fuck that. you. So, is that why you don't have no videos like that? Like what? Like, music music videos, like... I got music videos. What are you talking about? Really? Cause you didn't send us. What? Did y'all hear this, people? You know what I mean? You didn't send us any music videos. Let us talk TV, yo. She said we don't got videos. We got yo you didn't hundreds send of videos, us yo. Music videos. Yo, yes I did. No, yes, you I didn't. Did. You sent us uh, like you sent, yeah. I, I'll tell you what it said, cause I'm gonna I'm in charge of the video. Damn. Yeah, yeah, you you sent. Can you, you put sent. some videos on right here? <laughs> We don't, you said that we don't put them there. Yeah, we'll put them there. <laughs> but look, this is what you sent us two performance videos. Yes. Yeah. All right. You could say two performance videos. Um, I would have been sent I didn't even know because I always okay, send videos to everybody. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So what are you waiting for? Send well, it's to too late now. How? He can what have you, mean? you can have them. Oh, yeah. He can send them to me, yeah. Yeah. And I can play them at a later date. Yeah. Oh, you can't play right now? Nah. Because nah. right, we, so we, we, we set up the show. We don't we have any videos. videos. Because you didn't send us yeah, videos. Yeah, you sent us performance you videos. Us performance so, videos. Yeah. Play, go to YouTube. I mean, you not right that. now. I don't work like that. <laughs> I mean, how could you get them to see what the YouTube, like, I don't yeah, want to Yeah, don't work videos. like that. Yeah, you gonna we're gonna, you're going to send it to us. Yeah, you're going to send it to us. Get your life together. You stupid. All right, play the one that I sent that. That's what I'm saying. That's not a real video. What video is it? What the, what the I'm performance saying? video. All right, but so what? Let them see that. <laughs> you saw it too late. All right, let's yeah. play, let's play some of the songs then. Yeah, we're going to do that when we get This is our show. We're going to play your song. Don't try to talk about our thing. Make a star brand is on Fox Entertainment. That's what it is, man. It's not a big star brand. Featuring Far Seconds to Tape, man. Now, we're going to play your songs in like right, probably another yeah, five yeah, minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> so, we got you. What, else, what else you want to know? Um, I don't know. Dang. Don't you have to put me on the spot? I was going for the flow. Go yeah, ahead. She, I, I was yeah. sitting there quiet. Just chill. Put me on the spot. Yeah, now I can't come up with nothing. Don't be so, mad. So, um, <laughs> all right. So, you became an artist. You, you you know, you're writing music and anything like that. When did you figure out that you kind of had to expand, you know, what you were doing? That you had to be more than just an artist? Because, you know, I think, at, 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 you know, a, a lot of artists may not understand that, you know, it's just more than just 
the 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 job is more than just writing music and going to the studio Fact. or going to a showcase and perform. Fact. It's it's a lot bigger than that. So when did you come to the realization that you had to do more <coughs> and that there is more to it than just writing music? Like basically the people who I'm inspired by, like business wise, mm -hmm. like the Master P, you know, Dane Dash, like Biggs, the whole Rockefeller team, like the way they handle business, you know what I'm saying? The way business is conducted and mm -hmm. the way you got to protect and know what you're getting into, not just be like, you know, so eager to sign deals and, you know, you don't know what's going on again, after your publishing, royalties, whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Different things. You know what I'm saying? People promising you different things. It happens to the best of them. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's for us, the new generation that have learned. Yeah. We don't need for you to go through that. Go through that. These, yeah. these people yeah. got through it's it. all over YouTube. People mm -hmm. telling you, yo. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Like, why would you? How could you? Like, cause you 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 gotta know your worth. That's mm -hmm. that's that's the yeah. biggest thing. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I mean, now, if you just a person that just put together a rhyme and you just wanna, all right, that's different. Hurt, yeah. But like I said, I've been writing for a while. This mm -hmm. is what I do. I craft mm -hmm. albums. This is what I masterpieces. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I wanna own the master master to my masterpieces. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause I know they worth millions. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I don't wanna sell it out for thousands of dollars. You mm -hmm. feel me? Just cause. I'm I'm feeling hungry. I'm mm -hmm. a hustler, you know. Yeah. I'ma get it. I'ma get it. You I'm, feel me? I'ma eat. I'm a, and plus, yeah. like as a boss, you gotta fund your business. You yeah. feel me? Mm -hmm. You gotta pay workers. You gotta pay to do this and do that. Mm -hmm. And everybody, even family and people, but you, to get shit done, you gotta put that money up. You mm -hmm. feel me? No matter how, however it is, so people can stay motivated. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, when people talk about love and all that shit, like when it comes to business, man, it's like almost like love is like. To a certain small degree, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, you're gonna meet certain different people in the walks that you be like, yo, this person is a good business person and it's like love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you're gonna get people that's just straight, but you gotta be able to adapt and work with all these different types mm -hmm. of people yeah. to be successful at the top. Yeah. Cause everybody ain't gonna be like you. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't gonna think like you. Yeah. But how you gonna get that job done? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And that's what people gotta learn. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People want people to be like them. Ain't mm -hmm. nobody fucking like me. Yeah. I know that already. Yeah. So I'm never walking in a situation like I want her or him and him to keep me there. To... Nah, but I know it's like I'm like. I'm good. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Flexible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, it's just like being in any business. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, I, I that's the same the way I'm with my music and my elevation of my music mm -hmm. and different things. You gotta go with the time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. People that stuck on this, you know, but certain things I'm not, I'm not like what I'm about, my image, what I'm saying, different mm -hmm. thing. I'm not still. I'm not jeopardizing that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm still who I am. So it's like, let's say. It could be like a song that's out, you know what I'm saying? And then you just, you flipping that, but it's your own way. But you're not, certain people be taking people's style and taking their whole flow and everything. I'm like, yo, damn, dog, like, yo, this shit. That's like where it's like, you lack originality, you mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. Come on, like, who can't do that? Yeah. A baby could do that shit. Yeah, a you feel me? Do that, yeah. yeah, like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. Like, and like, shit like that, people gotta... Stop trying to pat these people on the back and tell them what it is, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the funny part about it is shit like that, like, that be going viral. I, could, I don't know, can you explain, you see some of the stupidest things be going viral? Hey man, you know I mean, I, mean like, I, can't, I, I can't explain it, you know. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's... I mean... I think about that for like two seconds. The attention span of people. Yeah, but still, I mean, stupid and is stupid. The, yeah, well, I mean, my mom hated Beavis and Butthead when I was growing up, but mm -hmm. I loved it. It was yeah. the dumbest show ever. Yeah, ever, yeah. But yeah. I loved it. Yeah, it was. Like but, it, <laughs> but stupid it was is funny. That I like. Yeah. yeah, like stupid is funny. Ren and Stimpy was stupid. Yeah, mad dumb. But I loved it. That shit my is, mom hated it. Yeah, that shit. She didn't understand either one of it. Yeah, but. I love happy, that. happy joy, joy. But that's joy, compared happy, happy to joy. what goes that's viral. So, it's just yeah. as dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, at the end of the day, it's like <laughs> people like dumb stuff. <laughs> yeah. Do you love it now? 
that you're an adult. I still love Ren and Stippy. I do not like Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> All right. So you can you sit? How many? How long can you sit there? And I watch? can only watch one of Ren and Stippy episode. One episode, one episode and then be like, all right, like, this is done. All right, yeah, this, 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 this is done. But yeah. Beavis and Butthead, I cannot sit and endure. I was like, why did I like this? Because it was this funny. Was dumb. This dude was mad funny. This was dumb. I liked it. Beavis and Butthead. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, it, was it, was cool. it was horrible. It was cool. Well, it was cool. It had his tongue. It definitely yeah. did have his tongue. There's no need to bring that up. I mean, but I, you know, get back to what he was saying about things being viral. You know, how, why, why those things become viral? Because I think because people are always trying to look for an escape from reality. Mm. And, when, and when they can find something that can take them away from reality, yeah. then they gravitate toward that. Which is why I want to love hip hop. Yeah, like I don't watch that shit. I mean about living off the grid, um, uh, the last Alaskans and shit like that. Cause I'm like, yo, I give me some bread, I'm buying me some property somewhere, and I, all I need is me a satellite dish that's ran by a freaking windmill or something, and I'm good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I go and kill two deer and smoke them joints, and I'm good for the winter. <laughs> The deer stinks, oh but I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it all depends. See, and that's just it. Just people want to, people want to be removed from reality because a lot of people's reality is fucked up. Yeah, hard. Yeah. You know, people, people want to be in love. They're not getting love. That's sad, y'all. And if you fall into that category, y'all just a bunch of suckers, man. At the end of the day, I don't you want to be out of reality. You want to be out of reality. You want to be out of tune you don't, reality. Because I, think I understand it's a harsh reality, but you gotta, no matter what drug, no matter what thing, whatever girl you, like now nah, said, it's self consciousness, that's where it come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I can explain, of, wait a minute, mm -hmm. I can explain this deep, deeply. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna make excuses because the whole world is doing fucked up shit. Mm -hmm. At yeah. the end of the day, I'm not saying that I'm perfect in that area either. I'm mm -hmm. saying like you gotta strive to understand that that's, that's mm -hmm. gonna be a fight. Yeah. To be on top of that subconscious and that's mm -hmm. like you say, it's like everybody got their demons in a sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta know how to, you know what I'm saying, for yourself. You watching, oh, this like you said, love and hip hop and this and mm -hmm. this person did this, all Kelly did this, this mm -hmm. person did that, 50 did that. Like, yo, you want people's dick, bitch. You feel me? Like, I'm on my own shit, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, I feel you, yeah, I feel you. All the time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh -huh. like, so it's like, if I'm, a, if anything, like, I got mental health, I'm interviewing people, I'm promoting people that actually show love to my brand, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like Pinky, Von Brown, G-Dap, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, I've had 50 come to the table, DMX, like I just mentioned, you know what I'm saying? People in my world, you dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what matters, you dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, you feel me? But People you can do both. Reality, that's not they want to be something else that they not. And that's another good thing. <laughs> no, I don't think that's being out of tune at all. I think that you can both escape something and focus on other things mm -hmm. and also still focus on your reality. Yeah, that's, I mean, that, that is true, but... Better. But the, the the original question was why do those do things why do those things go viral and the reason why they go viral because a lot of times right. people are trying to find a way out of their reality even if it's for of uh, five minutes. It's just yeah. like playing video games. It's yeah. the same exact thing. Yeah, it's the All same. Right, yeah. But I don't so care. Like focus even focus video on. game has that's just that's like some real dweeb shit all day. Like it is not, 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 not in reality, game. bro. Yeah. You're not getting no money. Yo, like, yo let me tell you like this. Come on, think about I, it. You play in a game. Like, yo, you know like, you can't get money from playing you can't, a game. Like, man, yeah, that's a whole other level. If you're getting money, then I'll take that totally back. If you're not getting no money and you're just playing games, 